Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shantae Nicole, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are an OG, I don't even know what that sign was. Anyways, thanks for coming back. And I know it's been a minute, but your girl came back with another curly hair video. Mm hmm. Basically, I'm going to be doing what's it called? A test of a. One side of my hair is going to be using the Denman brush method, and that's just brushing my hair and styling it with this brush. And the other side is going to be, which I've realized I messed up, but it's fine, Denman brush still, but finger coiling, if that makes sense. So just brushing it out, because I don't have any other brush. So brushing my hair out, but then using the finger coiling method to manipulate my curls to see how that works out. So if you want to see which side I prefer, keep watching. Don't fast forward, just keep watching. Be patient. You can learn a little something, I don't know, but see which side I like. Yeah, I think that's it. So guys, I have literally nothing, no product in my hair right now. Um, so let's get started. I don't think I'm gonna talk at all through this one. I kind of want to just show you the difference side by side. Um, the, hold on. Ooh. Okay, so the items that you need, a water bottle. I always have an extra scrunchie to tie up the side that I'm not using. Um, a little comb so that you can part your hair. And the good old Denman brush. If you guys don't have this, you should definitely invest. I have You've seen these all over YouTube. I don't know. I don't need to say anything else. Um, but for my products, I'm going to be using the Shea Moisture. I said that really weird. <laughs> Shea Moisture. Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Mask. So this guy. I'm sure you've probably seen this at Target or at any kind of beauty supply store. And then, you know, you know the deal. The Light Defining Gel. So usually, you guys know I use the um, Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil Conditioner. Not today! So, because I ran out. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to part my hair down the middle. I don't know, usually I have recently wear my hair right down the middle. But just so you guys can see the difference. And I haven't finger coiled my hair since mm, I don't even know oh just on this side okay so I always start with my right side so the right side I'm actually going to do the Denman brush yeah right side I'm gonna do my Denman so I'll show you the process of how I like to do it okay literally probably took less than five minutes to do <laughs> um just so you can see my hair has gotten really long but this half has been moisturized and put the diva curl product in now we're gonna go to the other side and do the finger coiling which I already know it's gonna take me a little bit longer so hopefully it doesn't take me too long we'll see which side I like a little bit better
I was using a dimming brush this entire time. Mm. I cheated. It's fine. <sighs> okay, guys. So, I just finished. So, this is actually going to be a Denman brush. Out versus a Denman finger coil, I guess, because I just realized I was using the Denman brush to brush this side out, but I don't have any other brushes. So, just so you can see, this is the Denman brush side and this is the finger coil side. So, what I'm going to do actually, let's show the difference in the back. But y'all, do you see that length? Mm. You thought this was a game. So what I'm actually going to do is diffuse it because I don't have time to air dry it. So usually I do air dry, but I just want to see the results with a diffuser. Uh, comment down below if you want me to do the same thing, but with no diffuse. But today I am going to be doing a diffuser. Sorry, I keep looking at the mirror to make sure. I'm on camera. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I just wanted to see or show you guys the middle of the drying. I got really tired of doing the diffuser. So, let me scoot in. This side, Denman brush. This side, a uh, finger quill. <laughs> I can tell the difference already. So the next time you see me, it'll be fully dry. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's about 95% dry. And I decided to get some castor oil, so love this stuff. I use it all the time. I use it on my eyebrows, my eyelashes, my scalp. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put a lot. This much. Rub it in my hands. And then I'm going to separate my curls. Oh gosh. I'm still a rookie. I forgot how to do this. Okay. Right here. Okay. I'm just going to use this comb, this Y2 comb, and don't mind my nails. I know I painted one side and I, yeah, anyways. Volume. Okay, never mind. Maybe I don't know which side I like better. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Straight dim, dim and brush. Okay, y'all see that? Okay, and finger coil with a dim and brush. So I like the definition of this side, but I like the volume of this side. Like this one, I have to work a little bit harder to get the separation. I didn't really feel like, I mean, I can keep going for the sake of the video. So this is the final result. You can kind of tell that 
they're both the same length. There's nothing too drastic about the length. It's just the definition. Obviously, the finger coiling side is a little bit more defined versus this side, but this side is a little bit more full. Still has the curls, which I think I'm leaning more towards the dim and brush side, which I normally do on a daily basis anyway. But if you're looking for more defined curls, I would go with this side. I would do this method. Um, and if you have a little bit more patience than me, then separate them and you'll get way more volume than me. I'm trying guys, but like this is like a perfect curl. I don't need to separate that one. Maybe this one. No, this one's fine too. Okay, I'm going to show you guys from the back. I'm going to try to blend. Comment down below and tell me which side that you guys like better, finger coil or just the brush. They both have the Denman, but this is just the brush, letting it do its thing, and then this is the finger coiling, making it, manipulating my curls. So cool, I haven't done this in so long. And I normally don't, you know, do the middle part, but yeah. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching and Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my Instagram. Look at my other um, videos. I still have a finger coiling tutorial if you want to see the full head done. Um, and I'm doing, I'm going to be doing some more um, curly hair vi videos too. Bye guys.